Hello everybody, I hope everybody's well and okay. And this is general morning chit chat, but it's not the morning anymore because time's just done away with me today. I've hardly had time to do anything. I've managed to do lunchtime with me. Please check that out if if you like. Um, the weather today is is it fair to say miserable? It has been raining in the night this morning. We've had a bit of rain. Uh, it's cold. I've had the heating on for most of the morning because it's freezing. And if you're cold, you're cold. <laughs> and that's it. The temperature in this room at the moment is 16 degrees, which isn't too bad but it'll probably get colder as the day goes on. So, what am I going to talk about for general chit chat? Well, Edinburgh and Scotland, we had a nice time. And you know where coach parties are, you start talking and meeting different kinds of people and it can be really really interesting and we um we met a lady and and she was telling us about what she likes to do she was a really really nice lady and she was we started talking about charity shops, charity shops, car boots. Um, now we're talking unloved furniture. So unloved furniture, your loss could be someone's gain. Now we are coming up to Christmas. And, well, sometimes it could be someone's treasure when you go to things like car boots and charity shops. Charity, charity shops, actually, I am quite a fan. I am quite a fan of charity shops. Because you never know with what you're going to find. And supposing you go in a new place and it needs filling. Furniture can be extremely expensive. Now there's charity shops also that do furniture. And you hear about these other places um, that do furniture and they sell it for quite a low price. Um, so if you're in the situation where you're moving in, into a new home and you need, you need furniture, Check out, it, especially if you're a person who's not got much money, you're just going on your feet. Um, it's just finding some some things to, to fill your house or your flat. If it's a flat, it's not as bad. When Richard and I first got our first place together, it was just a flat and it was all open plan. Luckily, the flat was furnished. The only thing we wanted in there um, was our own bed. So the landlord was really nice about this and he took the bed, what was already in there, out. And then um, 
so several years down the line we got this house and there was nothing in it not one thing in it so things that we'd purchased over the years being in that flat the, the flat didn't have everything don't get me wrong it didn't have everything in it but um my, my bookcase i already had and and this um let me show you this i already had this little unit thing um the bed we already had so so there was other things we needed um i'm trying to think of some examples now the coach we got we got a set of two coaches and they're by honeypot now because richard and i didn't have much money we um we got these from amazon these couches let me just show you we got them from Amazon. Now, this is the big couch and Richard's got a couch in in the room, the next room for, for his activities. Um, and they were both, they both came to a price of just under 16 pounds. Well, there's only me and Richard here. Yes, we get the off visitor, but not very much. We don't get many visitors, really. Um, I may get the odd friend who will come and visit or something. So it, it, it suited us just fine. Um, so to, to us, with these coaches, they're a bargain. So that's Amazon. Now there was other stuff we needed. We needed a new fridge. Um, but when we moved in this house, the pandemic was on. And it, so it, it was quite difficult. So we needed a new fridge. We needed a new um, washing machine. Um, so a lot of the time we turned to Amazon, the washing machine we did get from Curry's. Um, so that was great. The fridge was a little bit more difficult. Um, the delivery men who delivered our fridge, you know, that big, massive, tall fridge we've got in, in the kitchen. They wouldn't bring it in our house. So I had to ask my dad to help us with it and 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 the next door neighbour helped us with it too. And I don't know how they got it in there, to be honest. And thinking back to it, we should have stood up to them and said, Well, I'm afraid you'll have to take it away and we'll get a refund thinking back to it now because if there was just us there's no way on earth we could have carried that fridge in so anyway talking about charity shops so someone's loss could be your gain we're talking treasures like i love me ornaments <laughs> I love my ornaments. I like this ballerina. I got this from a charity shop. I think it was about two pounds. It looks like that. Um, I got this from a charity shop. I think this was about four pounds.
So you never know with what you're going to get from a charity shop or a car boot. So try it. Same with furniture. There's things like the, Br the British Heart Foundation. They do furniture shops. I know there's a big one in Wigan. Um, there's probably others around the country as well. Have a look if you're someone who needs, who's going to move into the first place or even any place, even if another place and you need furniture for it. Check them out, these places. As you may get a good deal. And at the end of the day, it's just to start. Because um, to afford a new place now of your own is expensive. So it's just a starting point. And as, as um, if, if you work and all that and you save some money, then you'll be able to replace what, what you bought before and and get new so do bear that in mind donating furniture my mum and dad believe you me my mum and dad decided to get some new furniture and they had an absolutely beautiful dining table. And it was kind of like the old Italian make. And it was, it was beautiful. If I could have had that table myself, I would have. But it was too big. It, it was too big for us and we already had a small dining table what suits us just fine and it was really really sad because every charity shop they rang it was too old-fashioned it was really really sad eventually though pot luck they did find somewhere, I can't remember where it was, but they did find someone who would take it. Because, I mean, I was having nightmares about that table. Because the worst thing would have been that it would have had to have been chopped up and put in a tape. And that wouldn't have been that weren't giving the table any respect it deserved because it had been in our family for a while. So I was proper upset when they said that and I was trying to think, could we have that table? But anyway, somebody did take it, a company did take it and, and it went. But, I mean, really, that table's probably an ant classed as an antique. Um, but it's just the way it goes sometimes. Some, you know. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there now. Because I think you get the gist. Please look in charity shops and things because you never know what you're going to find. I mean, I'm sure you've seen Antiques Roadshow. People are always putting things on. I found this in a charity shop and it could be worth thousands of pounds. You wouldn't believe it. So please have a look. And in a way, you're supporting you're supporting these charities and, and things. 
So there's that to take into account too. Anyway, I'm going to leave it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you feel I deserve a thumbs up and a subscription, please do this. As always, it does mean so much. Please check out all my other content and videos as you may find them interesting. Please comment. I love hearing from you, your stories. Everything makes a difference. So please comment on any of the subjects, my chit chats with me, lunchtime with me, and anything what whatsoever, anything what's on your mind, please let it out. As it's not just for my benefit, these videos, they're for everybody. I, I'd like to think that everybody's involvement could help somebody else, support other people. Please, anything you can do to make someone's day, please do. Um, this afternoon, actually after I've done this video, I am going to make my own home garlic bread. So please look out for that. As um, hopefully it turns out right. I'll be ashamed if it doesn't because I've only got enough ingredients to have one try the the end at the, at the end of the day i suppose it's just trying and trying again but i remember doing my own garlic bread in lockdown and it was absolutely fine i made my own pizzas as well they were a success um so hopefully i get this right i'm doing this for one of my followers in Pakistan. Um, things have just kept going in the way um, of me doing it. But today's the day I promise that person I am going to do it. So if you are interested in making your own garlic bread, please check it out whenever, when I have done it and I upload it. Um, so I'm trying my best to make all your demands to meet all your demands. If anyone does have such a demand, please let me know and I'll try and fulfill that demand. Um, I'll do my best, I'm doing my best I can to make you all happy by making fresh content. Anything you're interested in, please send me a message and I'll see if I can do whatever you want. Okay. Um, so thank you to my current subscribers and hopefully future subscribers as you will all be amazing. So please wish me luck on doing this garlic bread. Okay, Richard's going to film me doing it. <laughs> so he might chip in with his voice every so often. I hope you're enjoying the videos involving Richard. It does mean a great deal. As you know, he is a stroke survivor and he's got a lot of problems, but I am involving him to some extent on what I'm doing. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Sammy's all right, by the way, my, my little budgie. I don't know where she's gone, actually. Where's she gone? She's not in her cage. Where's she gone, that little bird? I can hear a noise. Oh, she is there. <laughs> she is there. I'll, I'll quickly show you. I'll quickly show you her. <laughs> she is there. She is there. She's just hiding quietly. Are you saying hello to everybody? <laughs> she's, she's just hiding there. So, there you go, garlic bread coming up, hopefully it works out, so I'll see you all later, alright, bye! bye.